So for anyone watching that is young and wanting to get into music, whether that be as a writer, a singer, songwriter, mastering engineer, sound engineer, whatever you want to do within the music industry and in the film world or anything else, in fact, um, my advice, as always, is to mess around for a bit. Try and go to, maybe if you want to do music, go to a music college, try everything out, try all the different areas. Basically, what you're trying to do like when you go to normal school, you try loads of different things and then you start to specialise when you go to university. The same is when you leave school. If you leave school without going to university or if you go to university, funnel in on that one thing that you get into that you really want to do and you really want to get tight on. Now, the basic reasons for this are that you only have a very short amount of time to really nail it and get going because you're going to get other things that come into your life, distractions as in family and, you know, other drains on your resources, so to speak. So you don't need as much funding when you're younger. You've got a lot of energy when you're younger to do stuff and loads and loads of time on your hands. Also, the, the decreasing factor is the fact that you need to be able to use this short amount of time to then get so much experience within that one area so that you can then, when all these things start coming into your life, when you want to buy a house, if you want to do that, or if you want to buy a nice car, and if you want to do other things that are money-based, or if you want to support a family and go traveling a lot, stuff like that, as you get into your 30s and your 40s, you're going to want to have built up enough a knowledge and enough so that when you're in those periods you can then charge a lot of money for doing those things that you've really worked on and you're an expert in by the time you get to your 30s and 40s. So you only have a very short window of time. Now anything else that isn't to do with what you're learning and what you're doing as your one thing then delegate that off. A great example of this is Ed Sheeran he is a singer-songwriter. That's what he does. He's not trying to be an engineer. He's not trying to be a mastering engineer. He's not trying to do everything. And I've been guilty of this massively in the past. And this is why I'm telling you. It's not just because I think that I'm right. It's through experience. And in my experience, I tried to do everything. I was trying to be a programmer, a mixer, a mastering engineer, a songwriter. You name it, I tried to do it and in other things in areas in my life as well. So in, the problem is there, I had all these different skills that I was learning a very small amount of, and I wasn't learning one big skill. Now, the one big skill I did learn by accident more than by design was mastering, because as luck would have it, I got paid to be a mastering engineer, which doesn't happen all the time these days. But when I started, you worked in a studio and you got paid to work in the studio to be a mastering engineer. So that was how I was earning my living. So I ended up just always focusing on that all the time. But that was kind of, like I say, by accident rather than design. And I was always kind of looking around for other things and shiny object syndrome. And I wasted so much time doing that, where if I did want to be a programmer in a band, that's what I should have done is just concentrated on that and programming rather than going, okay, I'm now bored of that, I'll move on to that. Okay, I'm now bored of that, I'll move on to that. So I gained a little bit of knowledge in loads of areas, but not enough knowledge. And it's only in the last, say, 10, 15 years that I've gone, okay, forget that, mastering, mastering's your thing, you are the mastering guy. So I've just nailed mastering and know everything I possibly can about that, which is why I can do the stuff that I do now and also tell you to kind of hone in because you only have a short amount of time to get really, really good at one thing before life starts getting on top of you. So I hope you can drag something out of that. I hope that inspires you to really hone in on what you want to do and try and keep all the distractions away, get amazingly good at that one thing and then you'll be able to make enough money out of that one thing to really enjoy and do something that you love every day and get paid for it as your life goes through the different stages that it will. So thanks for watching, until next time, bye.